In today's lesson, we're going to learn how to make this beautiful kimono, showing you step by step how to take measurements cut and sew. To make it easier for you I printed these papers. The front and the back of kimono. I'm going to trace down the sleeve first here. As you can see, here is an opening for the hand to go through. This is the part where the sleeve attached to the shoulder. For the front panel, there's two pieces. The lapel made of two pieces, the shorter one over the longest one. In the center back, there is a seam to join the two panels together. Now, let us take measurements of each piece. There is a seam in the middle of the back. This is a side seam. In the back of the sleeve, left open. The part that the sleeve attached with the body. For measurements, the length of the sleeve is 35 centimeters or 13 and half inches. For the width of the sleeve is 49 centimeters or 19 and a quarter inches. The opening parts is 23 centimeters or 9 inches. For this part is 22 centimeters or eight and three quarters inches. This part of side seam is going to be open about 12 centimeters or four and three quarters inches. For the lapel the width is 12 centimeters or 4 and 3 for inches. The length of the shortest lapel is 80.5 centimeters or 31 and 3 quarters inches. The length of the second lapel is 96 centimeters or 37 and 3 for inches. For the length of the first piece of the front panel is 151 centimeters or 59 and half inches.
The length of the kimono is going to be 163 centimeters or 65 inches. For the neckline is 5 centimeters or 2 inches. This is how the kimono looks on me. As you can see the length is touching the floor. I have two fabrics. This one is silk and the other one is 100% cotton. So I'm going to use this one for this kimono. For the shoulder measurement is going to be 25.5 centimeters or 10 inches. For the back panel, the width is 32 centimeters or 12 and half inches. For the back I fold the fabric and mark the measurements. Adding 1 cm for seam allowance. For the length is going to be 140 centimeters or 55 inches. I'm not going to cut open the center back. I'm going to leave it as one piece. For the first front panel, Adding to centimeters for seam allowance. Cut the fabric. For the second piece of the front panel the width is 15 centimeters or 6 inches. Fold the fabric. Mark the measurements. Cut the extra fabric. And open the fabric to make to pieces. To get that shape. Measure 66 centimeters or 26 inches. Put the measurement tape like this and trace the line. Leave to centimeters for the seam. For the sleeve fold the fabric.
The length is going to be 50 centimeters or 19 and half inches. The width is 35 centimeters or 13 and three quarters inches. Cut the fabric. Do the same to the other sleeve. For the first piece of the lapel, the longest one, put the two pieces of the fabric and mark the measurements. Adding the seam allowance. 98 centimeters or 38 and half inches. The width of the lapel is 12 centimeters plus seam allowance. Mark the measurement all way down. For the second lapel, eighty centimeters or thirty one and half inches, adding seam allowance. Since the back panel is one piece, I'm going to skip the seam on the middle of the back. Trace the neckline. Put the back shoulder beside front shoulder to get where the back neck should start. Marking 5 centimeters or 2 inches. Cut the neck in a curve line. Put the shoulders together. And so, I'm going to use only a serger machine to sew pieces together. Now I'm going to add the second piece of the front panel. Measuring where it should be started. Fourteen centimeters or five and a half inches.
sew it all the way down. The front panel is done. Cut the extra fabric. To attach the sleeve with the body, measure 22 centimeters or 8 and 3 quarters inches. Start from the shorter line. On the both side, front and the back panel. Fold the sleeve into half and put it on the body. It should be look like this. On this part of the sleeve, curve slightly the edge, and this part should be left open for the hand to go through. For the opening, measure 23 centimeters or 9 inches. Sew down all the way around, using a French ruler, to get the curve edge. Cut the extra fabric. Sew all the way up to the back of the sleeve, here should be open. For the seam side, leave this part open 12 centimeters or 4 and 3 quarters inches. Notch the fabric. This part should left open. Now, sew down the seam side. This is how it should look. For the lapel, the longest piece. Sew these two pieces together to make one piece. Fold it in a half and iron it.
For the second lip haul the short one. Add a woven fusible to give lip haul a nice finishing. Iron all the seams of the kimono. For the short lapel, fold to centimeters and iron it like this. The short lapel goes over the longest lapel. To make one piece together, This end should be left open. Now attach the lapel with the kimono. Starting from the center back. and pin it all the way down. For the end of the longest lapel, flip it over and sew. and pin it with the kimono. Now sew the lapel with the kimono. the part that left open on the lapel. Sew the hem. Using a sewing machine, I stitch the edge. And the hem 1 cm or 0.5 cm. for the back sleeve and side seam that left open. Sew the opening part to give a nice finishing. Fold 0.5 cm and stitch all the way around. On the side seam add a reinforcement stitch. Because this is a weak part of the kimono. Stitch the hem of the sleeve, 0.5 cm.
This is the easiest way to make a kimono or a yokata, using only a serger machine and a sewing machine for the hen. for the lapel to give it a crease. Fold it and make sure to match the shoulder seam, and then iron it. And this is the final look of this kimono.